Hello, today I've decided that I want to tear up the pumpkins from this patch but I'm just going to show you a little peek at uh, what's currently here. I've got a potato plant. I actually dug up two potatoes, fair sized potatoes from there a couple of days ago and they were very nice. Uh, these are um, uh, choy, pak choy. It's a Chinese, a Chinese leaf, and these are lamb's lettuce. And these are broccoli. But, um, they they haven't grown any uh, florets yet. Uh, hopefully, they will before the winter arrives. Those are tomatoes, which I put in way too late, and are probably never going to produce any fruit. And then the pumpkins here, which have been severely battered. Um, the there was some uh, blight. Was it blight? It was white. Uh, wh there was white spots on it. I can't remember what it's called now. I think I don't think it's blight. I think it was something else. But anyway, there was something on the leaves. Mildew. That was it. Uh, something mildew and uh, so I had to cut off a load of leaves from there um, and I, I think the whole plant is unhealthy even though th there's uh, quite a few leaves but they're, they're fairly uh, mottled in appearance the chlorophyll is uh, not uniform and the new leaves they are also uneven coloured and the fruit that has developed has gone rotten although that might be an isolated case but there's another one over there that hasn't even really developed and one here that is not it's just not doing very well at all so I'm just gonna pull it up I'm gonna pull the whole thing this is the extent of the plant it's quite large and it's yielded nothing really um, so I'm gonna clear this spot and I'm gonna put in my peas for over the winter I think they grow over winter and then then they harvest in spring, early spring. But um, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna let you see me pull this up. Need to be careful because it's got spikes on it. Need to get a good grip. There. And there we go. That is the first pumpkin plant. There ain't no returning now. Looking at the roots, do they look healthy? There's the seed, the original seed case. There. I don't know. They look. They look okay. That looks like there's a bit of. Mm, can't really focus very well. A bit of fluff there, which could be some kind of a a mold or something. Anyway, now it's time to pull this, and it's well, it's caught up with the other one because I grew them alongside each other. A pull, 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 pull. And there it goes, the entire vine. Now taken from its old place. The whole thing is quite a large, impressive plant. But this one was sick and it needed to be put down. It needed to be put to sleep. And now it goes on the compost heap. 
you like. I could show you the peas going in. But, uh, leave that up to you. You can leave me a comment if you want to see the peas going in. Well, it's probably a bit boring actually. It's just digging and coming. Anyway, bye bye. Okay, I decided not to show you the peas going in because that would have been really, really boring. Uh, and it's too late now anyway. And I'll just show you this section first. It's actually quite a while later. It's actually a few weeks, maybe even a month. I'm not sure, but this bit looks more or less the same. The broccoli that I'd cut off, it's gotten some good growth there. And here, where the pumpkin was, is now a load of sticks that I put there for the peas to grow. The peas, now they're showing through. I had them covered with a mesh for quite a while to stop the cat from digging in the garden and uh, disrupting my newly planted pea plants and these are now poke their head through and they're gonna crawl they're gonna climb up these uh, twigs here and then they will show some uh, lovely pea pods which I will eat by the bucket load and enjoy greatly peas there you go Bye-bye.